So this right here is a 2020 Cascadia and um, it is here because it has a damage with the differential. Uh, you can see that it is fluid but um, there was the situation then the truck didn't move at all and whenever it moved just a little it was making a very loud grinding noise and of course it was because this rear differential was completely destroyed and it was not destroyed because uh, it broke it is destroyed because it ran with no fluid and you can see the, the seal was done at some point because it, 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 there is this uh, problem with these differentials and they start leaking uh, from factory the silicone then they put is not really strong or maybe they don't add enough silicone or or the gasket or whatever they put on so um, it's not strong enough and they start leaking it's pretty normal I mean I have seen trucks with 5,000 miles and uh, and they have these kind of problems then the seal is leaking and at some point this was done but probably there was not fluid added to it or the um, the plug the, the drain plug wasn't uh, tight enough and it got loose over the time and started to leak all the fluid because you can see you can clearly see and there is not fluid at all there is some wet parts with fluid but um, there's barely anything barely barely any fluid um, so of course and this is completely welded together you can see the pieces of the pinion in there and um, basically for this to get in this color in this condition um, that got to be completely red hot like glowing hot so that was uh, the only way that happened and plus all these differential have like little like oil pan and goes surrounding this area and that thing is completely melted it's right here see it, it burned completely um so you can see and there is a little bit of oil leaking from the plug but that was about it there was no much oil you can see that it's completely dry there's no lubrication there is a little bit of fluid here but no much around the uh, cover this is supposed to be covered with fluid to lubricate the ring gear um, but uh, uh, I suppose and that is something that we all have to pay attention to especially when we do seals when we replace to be honest I don't know the real deal I mean the real problem that happened to this truck but I assume in then that was the case um, maybe maybe it happened and the bearing just got destroyed and that's the reason why this happened but um, regardless there is no lubrication at all you can see usually when a differential has been lubricated you wanna see all this part shiny just like all these areas but maybe um, it has to do then this one was like completely hot glowing hot and that's the reason why it burned uh, the fluid around the area so not sure but well this is just a little video that I wanted to do to uh, let you know that it is very important whenever we do seals differential seals or anything around the differential to make sure that the fluid is in the right level um, and if the fluid is, is not in the right level the differential is going to suffer a damage and that damage is going to cost a lot of money in this case we're going to look for a used differential and this differential is going to cost probably around like uh, maybe fifteen hundred dollars depending uh, but if you go directly to the dealer that's going to cost around three thousand four thousand dollars for the differential and uh, counting then they will accept the core the way it is and if they don't accept it you will have to pay maybe a thousand or thousand five hundred extra um, 
after the price of the differential so that would be very costly but um, uh, this is this these are kind of things that you can prevent but you can I mean you are able to prevent these things only if you check them if you don't check anything around the differential of course you won't prevent anything um, and of after knowing that we have a problem with the differential especially the rear one uh, we have to check the fluid on the front one the front differential over there has to be checked uh, because if we don't probably that one is low in fluid and something similar to this or um, worse can happen um, it, I have seen a couple problems with differentials lately because uh, you know usually the differential fluid is the last thing we replace and we check but differentials are just important as your engine or transmission and if the differential doesn't transmit the power to the um, axles directly to the wheel you don't move anywhere so they're just important as the engine so uh, it's something that we have to take care of. and uh, if we don't we're gonna struggle with things like this but anyway, I just wanted to uh, show something different about these differentials, a small video about this, and um, uh, just try to be careful. I mean, this is something that can happen to any truck, uh, to anybody, at any time. There is not a specific time when this can happen, but the way to prevent it is actually checking the level and replacing the fluid. If you want to replace your fluid every 300,000 miles, it's great because the fluid is always going to be clean. But 500,000, 600,000 miles will be the range where you need to replace the fluid anyway. But uh, try to repair to replace it before and try to use good quality fluids like Mobile, Chevron, Shell, and other brands that are good quality. And um, use synthetic, synthetic fluids for these ones. Um, and the weight for this uh, oil fluid gotta be like 70 w90 70 w80 depending some manufacturers use different fluid but so 70 75 w90 is usually the universal one so you can use uh, that fluid on this one and it will work fine that's pretty much the automatic transmission fluid and it works super fine for the differentials but just remember then you need to use your specifications for your specific truck to apply the right fluid because if you use the wrong the wrong fluid you are going to end up having problems like this so just double check before you're using it um, the majority of trucks use 70 w90 or 70 75 w90 sorry or 75 w80 depending but uh, just double check everything before you do any type of fluid replacement. But as it is, this is all we have for now. And uh, um, if you have any questions about this, just uh, comment below. Uh, you can find me on Instagram as Francisco Maya YouTube. Uh, if you wanna come to the shop and bring your truck, uh, the address is 8215 Beach Avenue, Fontana, California. Uh, if you would like to get your truck serviced by us here anyway uh, this is all I have for you and I hope you like the video like it share subscribe and thank you for watching